Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. First things off before we get into this video, I uh, have a bit of exciting news. I was in a McDonald's advert and it is out now. I think it is worldwide, not sure, but it is on the McDonald's UK... It is on the McDonald's UK YouTube channel, so I will link the video below. Um, so do check it out, let me know what you think. I am at the end, that's a clue. Try and spot me. If you do spot me, comment down below and tell me that you have. I would love to hear if you have seen it. So yeah, that was just a little bit of news, but now on to the main part of this video, which is how to get an acting agent. So this is not gonna guarantee that you're gonna get an agent, this is just some tips and tricks. Uh, that, that might help you along the way. So I hope this video is helpful. Do let me know if it is, so let's go. So firstly, you're gonna actually look for an agent. You know, if you have no clue, get on the internet, do some research, basically see who's out there. There is also something called the uh, Contacts book, which Spotlight released, and that basically has it's basically a massive directory of all the people in the industry and there's a whole section on agents. So if you get that, you can look through and look up their details. Have a look and see if any are advertising. If they've just put out like a tweet or a post or something basically saying, if you wanna apply, you can contact us here. Just a little indication to see whether they're looking or not. Another thing to do is to look at who they have on their books. Now, obviously you're gonna have some of the big agencies that have a lot of big actors and actresses on there and you're gonna have small agencies have a look and see if they have a lot of people that look like you. Now this may sound strange but sometimes if there are a lot of people that look the same on the books you're kind of going to get lost especially if there's like 10 other people that look exactly like you. So have a look and see who they have. Um, also if they do have people that are more on the TV personality side there are some agencies that have actors but they also have like reality TV stars and singers and presenters. So have a look and see which agency looks and sounds a lot like you, if you'll get on with them. Also ask fellow actors if they can recommend anyone, if they know anyone that's looking, or if their agent is looking for someone that might fit what you are. Have a look and see if there's anyone they could recommend, because you know, it's all word of mouth. Um, and that may help you if they mention to their agent or mention to someone they know, that can kind of push you to the front of the queue if they are looking. Now, what you're gonna have to do is email out. Just, firstly, don't mass email, do it separately because if an agent sees all these other agencies in along with them being sent this email, they're gonna be like, nah, you're that desperate, you're looking for all of these people, I'm not gonna look at you. Just be very you and don't have all this flamboyancy of like, oh, I'm gonna be a great asset to your team. Just be like, you know, hi, I'm looking for an agent and link down any showreels, CVs, headshots, just put it all out there and just say, look, hey, I'm here. If you want me, call me in. It's also important to not call. Now, agents are very, very busy with getting castings for their clients, looking on Spotlight, dealing with casting directors, dealing with production companies, dealing, dealing with all these people involved in acting, that if you clog up their lines with your call, they aren't gonna like you that much. So what will happen next is that they'll probably ask you to come in for a meeting. Now this is great, obviously, you have caught their eye out of all the other applicants that have sent in their CVs um, and they want to meet you. So this is a really important time. A good thing to ask is what you need to prepare Sometimes it'll just be coming in to have a chat and get to know you. Sometimes they may want to see something, Some, that doesn't always happen. They may have already seen your CV and your showreel and like you already and just wanna see what you're like in real life. You may also need to bring in copies of your CV and headshots. You can ask that or sometimes just have them in your bag anyway. So if they ask or you can say, do you want my CV and my headshots? Just ask, you know, it's, there's no harm in bringing them. It's always good, and this is just a general thing throughout all of acting, especially for stage, is have material prepared. Because if they're suddenly gonna say, you know what, I wanna see what you can do, show me a monologue, show me something. If you've not got anything prepared, you're kinda stumped, aren't you? So, especially if you're looking at a, um, a theatre agent, especially, see if you've got a monologue that you can prepare, and then just have in your backlog, so that if they wanna see you do something, you can just be like, well, I'm prepared, I've got this I can do. Now, if they are showing an interest in you, something to remember to ask them is what their commission rates are. 
Now, if you don't know, an agent takes a cut of all your earnings. Now, this kind of varies um, from something like 20%. There are some agencies that take a ridiculous amount, sometimes up to 35%. Now, that may not sound much, but if you've only got a very small job, they're taking quite a lot of your fees. They're gonna be the ones that are getting you the jobs and also dealing with the money. So you want to know firsthand how much they're gonna be taking off, just so you know that when your paycheck comes through, you're not looking at it and saying, well, that's not what the original fee was, and you can see how much they've taken off. Finally, the most important thing is just to be yourself. If they like you and like your personality and can see that you can act, then you can't do anything more than that. This also comes in useful in the industry in general. If people like working with you and you're a nice person, you're probably gonna get called in for more jobs. If casting directors like you and know that you can work and that you're dedicated, then they're more likely to call you in. Also, don't worry if you don't hear anything. This is gonna be something that happens in the industry anyway. If you get called in for a casting, sometimes you just won't hear anything at all and you're like, okay. So it's always best to forget about it, especially with, with agents. Not so much, they will probably say, actually sorry, not gonna work out this time. But if you don't hear anything, A, they're very busy, and B, don't be offended because they are doing dealing with so many other things and there could be another agent waiting around the corner to say, yes, I want you. So there we go, those are my tips for how to get an acting agent. Do let me know if this was helpful. If there are any other tips that you wanna share, do comment them down below. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.